everyone, it's Robin, RS Island Crafts, and welcome to my studio. This is my Whip It Wednesday video where I'm going to show you the crafty goodness that I worked on this week. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me during the live stream, and for those that you came back later and caught the replay. We made this little scrappy mug rug, and we had conversations about how to pull colors from here to choose the ones we want, how to test out the colors to see if they're going to work. I think this one came out really cute. Here is the one I did as my warm-up using the same fun birdhouse fabric. This time I was able to pull the oranges and the yellows from there. So I have that. And I actually started a purple one for a zipper pouch. As you can see, it's got a little hummingbird with the purple flower. And again, it's all from the same fabric. It's just different spots where it was chosen from. These are actually Polaroid pictures that a friend created and sent to me. I have a video for those if you're interested. It is linked below the description box of the live stream. So that's where I showed and talked about the Polaroid pictures. This one's all finished and ready for the shop. This one still needs to be finished. I thought this would be a cute little, little mini wall hanging or it could just still be turned into a hot pad or even a large mug rug or something like that. And then again, this will be a zipper pouch and I'll do a purple for the back and just make it all scrappy without the centerpiece. It was the first weekend of the month, so my patrons and I, we worked on our month of mugs. We also work on those a month in advance, so this is the September one, Back to School. That's a book. It's supposed to have some embroidery on it, but I think I want to put an applique on mine, and then, of course, a little apple for the teacher. We're doing these actually in order, so we're getting pretty close to uh, the finish line of these. I know my life is a little confusing. It's confusing for myself and confusing for some of you guys also. We have not yet moved to Arizona. What I did is I sold my home and I did that in advance because we didn't know how long it was gonna take to sell and I wanted to be out of it before hurricane season hit. Plus there was damage to the house from Hurricane Ian last year and I just didn't want to be at risk. I didn't want to take chances. So I sold the house. I'm living at my kid's house, which is six miles away. So I'm still in Cape Coral, Florida. We don't have a definite date for Arizona yet. It's still supposed to be, you know, what they're saying is that it's still in the works and there's people out there already. So Arizona is going to be a go, but we just don't have an exact date. We didn't have an exact date to start with. We just knew maybe around October or even into November, or December. And now we're not really sure. If you've ever built a home or watched a business be built, you know it takes a really long time between, hey, we're gonna build a house and the time that they actually put the first shovel in and start digging for the house. So that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for them to get all of the permits in line to check the survey of this and the maps of that and the land and if it's a level, is it flat, is it whatever they have to do. We're just waiting for all of that to get done so then once they break ground, then we'll have a better idea. So I'm still here. I'm in Cape Coral. We're not battling. We're battling the Florida heat versus the Arizona heat. But I'm hoping to be able to go soon as in once the summer is ending in Arizona and it's starting to get into the fall and winter weather. Because from what I understand, it's really gorgeous out there and I'd love to go and have a nice, gorgeous, cool winter time. And it'll be easier to ease into the Arizona time if we go in the winter and then ease into the summer and then just have a nice all around seasonal time. Because here in Florida, we don't have a winter anymore. We didn't have much to start with, but the little bit we had is has been gone because the temperature is skyrocketing everywhere. Anyways, just thought I'd give you that little update. Now, sitting here at the kids' house, I've been noticing that I packed a few things that I still need. I went to have a cup of tea and I don't have a coaster or anything to put my tea on when I'm drinking it. I want to make sure I'm protecting the surface from the heat and for, you know, there's always a little dribble of something that's coming down the cup. So I went ahead and I made myself this little more for the tea for the hot coaster versus just for a drink that might have condensation on it. We made this house in a video, I think I did it maybe on a live stream or just in a regular video sometime last year or so. So I had this block and I just went ahead and I put some scraps on the back of it and I put some binding on it. So now I have, this has got double 
a batting in it. So I have the batting or the fusible fleece or something for here and then the batting for there, but it's all quilted. And now I have something that I can set my teacup on or my mug and I can have it right here and not have to worry about the heat ruining the cutting board. I always enjoy being able to use up little bits of a project and then some scraps to just go ahead and get what I need right now when I need it and not have to worry about it. This probably wouldn't have been turned into anything, so it's perfect. And if it gets a tea stain on it, I'm not gonna worry about it. I also played with some Barbie scraps this week. See, here is a fabric postcard. A viewer sent me some of their Barbie fabric scraps a little bit ago, and I thought well, with the movie that just came out, it'd be perfect time. I found it in my Barney bag. I had it in a little Ziploc baggie ready to go, so I kept it all together, including, I like the black and white stripes on here. It does say a little Barbie in there, but I like that contrast. So it's just a regular fabric postcard. This is actually available in my shop. I also made a zipper pouch. So I'm gonna put up a quick little short video here and then I'll talk about it. I just needed to make a quick video so that I can pop it out into the mail so it can fly its way to its new home. But we'll let you look at this Barbie one here for now and I'll tell you about the zipper pouch. I did something similar as I did with the fabric postcard because it's a fabric postcard. I just laid all of the fabrics down in a jigsaw puzzle and then I quilted it like crazy and it has some batting in there. I might have used, I think I used fusible fleece in this one just to hold these all into place and that way nothing would shift while I did it. So that worked out really great for this. And then on the zipper pouch, I used batting. And for that, I did a quilt as you go and the similar method that I did for this so that everything would be laid out nicely and it would be quilted and I could use up the scraps in a random way but still end up with a fun pouch. I also added in some tiny pom-pom trim. I just thought it would be fun, especially with all the pink that is in for the Barbie. I really like these eyes, the face that they have on it. And sometimes in the zipper pouch, it just has the eyes without anything else. So I just thought that was kind of fun. I'll pop the video back up here again so that you can see again now that I described it. And you can go ahead and see the front and the back. And I did the same techniques for the both. I just didn't put the pom-pom on the back. I did a little more fabric shopping at Hobby Lobby. I needed to go and purchase something specifically for a project that I have in mind. So while I was there, they were having a sale. It was 40% off all of their fabrics. So I went ahead and grabbed some more to just make it a little bit of a better stash here to work with. Plus it was on sale and it was really fun to go shopping again and get some fabric. And a lot of times I just get a quarter yard. So when something is seven or eight dollars a yard and you only get a quarter yard, you're not really spending that much, especially when it's 40 percent off. Right. Once I get my videos done this week, my plan is to go ahead and start working on the cell phone pouches and to make the ones with the card slots inside that you guys have requested. So I have all of those fabrics chosen and I'm just going to start cutting them out and I'll start working on them as I go. And then there'll be a big update and it probably won't be for a few more weeks. There's a few things coming up that I need to take care of that I have to work around. But I had a request for a new coin pouch, so I made this for the customer. It's really hard to get this to look good in photos and the video. This is a medium to a little bit of a lighter gray, and this is a light pink that is in the flower area. So that's about a little bit lighter than that color gray, and you can almost see the shadow of the pink there you go can you see it that is a very good representation of the fabric so when you see it in the etsy shop you'll know just what it looks like and for fun on the inside i put some lemon stripes the customer requested both of these fabrics but she wanted this one as the main fabric so for a little coin pouch i thought it would be fun to put the lemons inside since i had the fabric out you know i had to go ahead and make another coin pouch and this is a like a navy blue stripe that's on here it definitely reminds me of 
I don't know, summer at the Hamptons or something, not like I've ever gone there, but sitting out by the water somewhere with an umbrella. Uh, the, a lot of the times you see people wearing the blue and white striped shirts or hats and stuff, big old slices of lemon in your tea or something like that. And then just a simple, the white swirl fabric on the inside and the matching tassel. And then I made another one of these and I went ahead and put the white swirl on the inside. All of these are made with the fusible fleece so they don't need any quilting. They have a nice bit of structure to them and yet they can still fold a little bit and bounce back. So when you wanna just stick them in a bag somewhere, it works out well. This one's going to the customer, but both of these are already in my Etsy shop and ready for you if you choose to purchase one. The Etsy shop and everything else is always linked down below in the description box. I think I will put the video attached to this one right here at the end of the fabric I purchased. So if you ever see any fabric that I'm bringing into the house or you see something I've already made and it's a fabric you like, but you'd like something different made out of it, you can always message me. You can always send me an email or message me through Etsy. If you know exactly which fabric it is, it's easy to describe. Otherwise, you can take a little screenshot as it's going through the video or something like that and send me the screenshot so I know exactly which one you're talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the end. You can see what it is. If you see one that you know you would like to purchase, a the, one of the cell phone carry pouches, the one with the strap on it, that you have a spot to slide your cell phone in, and then a zipper pouch with the credit card slots, then just let me know and I'll make sure I make that part of the items that I make. So your scrappy word for today is scrappy. I'm curious, do you like the zipper pouches like this when I make them scrappy or do you prefer them all in one fabric? Now I'm going to be keep making them all in one fabric of course, but I'd like to continue putting some more actually of the scrappy versions like this. I'd like to make more of these and just make them like they're cohesive. Like this one's all purples and whites to go with this. I can always bring in a little pink or you know the yellows or greens or whatever, but I, I wanna make them all so that they work well together. But I'd like to make more projects like this, more zipper pouches. So do you like scrappy zipper pouches like this or do you prefer one fabric? So hang out for the short, short video of the fabrics I purchased. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for leaving such lovely comments and watching my videos from beginning to end. I appreciate every time you leave a like or when you share my videos with others. Thank you to all of my subscribers and thank you to all of those that prefer not to subscribe, but just find my videos each week and watch them. I hope you guys have a great week and for all of those that are going back to school like this area is, school starts up tomorrow. Be safe, drive carefully, and watch out for those big buses and the kids walking on the side of the road. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!